how much has my Tesla Model 3 long range cost to run in the last 12 months? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel folks, JD here again with a very quick video today. Um, on the 27th of May 2022, which is a couple of days ago now, um, I had owned or leased the Tesla Model 3 long range for exactly 12 months. So what I thought I'd do today is just go through the stats, look at the average energy consumption and look at how much it's actually cost me to travel a certain amount of miles. Okay, so um um if i just play this very quick video um you can see that i'd done exactly 10150 miles i'd used 2486 kilowatt hours and that was an average consumption of 245 watt hours per mile okay so 10150 miles in 12 months uh 2486 kilowatt hours and uh you've gone away here we go um and uh um, an average of 245 watt hours per mile. So what does that mean? So if you're new to electric vehicles, let's just do a little bit of um, explanation. So essentially, uh, if you do say 100 watt hours per mile, that basically means you can travel 10 miles per kilowatt of electricity. So one unit of, of electricity is 1000 watts. So if you travel, if you use 100 watts per mile, then obviously 100 goes into 1,010 times. So you could travel 10 miles on one unit of electricity. Now, as you can see on the video, it was telling me um, over the 10,150 miles, we'd use 2,486 units or kilowatt hours, and we'd averaged 245 watt hours per mile. So... Um, if we uh, run that into the old spreadsheet then, so 10,150 miles at an average of 245 watt hours per mile gives us 4.08 miles per kilowatt hour. So all I've done there look, is I've taken 1,000 and divided that by 245. So that gives us how many miles we can travel on one unit of electricity, just the same as how many miles we can travel on one gallon of fuel. The total energy cost, now I've just calculated this just to see if the Tesla was correct, and obviously it is. So that was saying 2486. If you take um, 10,150, which is the number of miles I've travelled in 12 months, and divide that by 4.08, you get 2,486.75 units of electricity. Now I'm on Octopus Go Faster. And for the last 12 months, I've been charging only within the cheat rate, which for me is half past eight in the evening until half past one in the morning. Um, my link to my referral code, if you're interested in joining Octopus, I don't know whether they're taking new customers at the moment due to the energy crisis, but you can get yourself 50 quid and I'll get 50 quid as well, which is nice. Um, but essentially, I get 5.5 pence per unit of electricity for five hours a day. So as I said, between half past eight and half past one in the morning. And I've made sure, because I've got my smart charge and my OMI cable, I only ever have charged the car within that window. Now, I did get a thousand supercharger miles at the beginning, but I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to assume, so this is kind of slightly more expensive than it's cost me. I'm going to get rid of my free supercharger miles. And let's assume that every one of these 10,150 miles I've driven has been charged at home for the five hour cheap window on Octopus Go Faster at 5.5 pence per unit. So the unit cost of 0.055 pounds or 5.5 pence, believe it or not, comes out at 136 pounds and 77 pence. That's what I've spent to run this car over the last 12 months exactly, covering 10,150 miles. That averages 1.35 pence per mile 1.35 pence per mile even if my electricity cost was 25p a unit or let's say 30 pence a unit what would it cost us it would have cost us 746 pounds or 7.35 pence per mile my wife's diesel mini was costing us about 15 pence per mile before we got rid of it 
So even now, even on an expensive rate of 30 pence per unit, we'd still be better off by 50%. But for me, because I've got this great Octopus Go Faster rate of 5.5 pence per unit, it has cost me 136 pounds and 77 pence for 12 months. I'd have spent more than that in one month on my diesel McCann. Thought that might be quite interesting. Um, if you're new to the channel, you can get yourself a uh, copy of my spreadsheets. They're £10 each. One is for car finance, settlement figures, voluntary determination, that kind of thing. One is looking at uh, salary sacrifice schemes and whether it's worth you uh, running an electric vehicle through a company salary sacrifice scheme. If your employer is offering one, subscribe if you wish. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.